Believe it or not, guys, it is December here in Utah. Weather is gorgeous. However, we are due to get snow next week. Uh, Jess and I are just unpacking a few things, just kind of chatting about, uh, you know, when is it a good time to buy or sell trailers? We'll just give you a little feedback on that. Jesse's just doing some last minute unpacking, getting our batteries taken off, getting those stored for the winter. Have to pack in the batteries. You're not supposed to leave them out when it gets too cold, the lithium batteries. Luckily, these are nice and light. Like Kara said, we're putting away the RV, but we're gonna talk about when's the right time to buy an RV. And in the middle of winter isn't usually when a lot of us are thinking about purchasing an RV. Cause there's a few negatives of it. You're gonna have to store the thing all winter if you bought one. Like if you live somewhere where it's cold, like where we are here in Utah, in the winter, you aren't gonna be using it much. So it kind of sucks to buy one and then store it all winter. There are a few advantages of buying right now. If you can find the RV that you're looking for out there. If you're looking to buy a trailer, maybe the winter is the time to look. There's a lot of dealerships that have RVs that didn't sell this year that they're looking to get rid of. They don't want to keep them around all winter long. They'd rather get them moved and you might be able to snag a really good deal on that trailer you've been looking for. Don't know if we ever showed this, but this fall, we had our roof resealed. Kind of needed to get it done quick, so I just took it over to Creekside RV and they resealed the whole roof. Looks really nice. Really glad I did it with winter coming up. Dealers, as it's been explained to me, have kind of a 90 day kind of grace period before they have to start paying on the RV sitting on their lot. And during the summer, they sell those, not a problem. But there's always those few that came in late or were delayed or whatever especially this year because of covid and all the other things going on that they're just showing up now and people are not wanting to buy and store it all winter so you might be able to snag that deal you've been looking for because they don't want to have to start paying on it after those 90 days don't know if that sunset's coming through for you looking pretty good though tonight no i know when it comes to buying an rv the rule of thumb is if you can't pay cash don't buy but that's not realistic for a lot of us, us included. We, there's no way. We would never been able to save enough. Well, I shouldn't say never. It would take years for us to save. And I understand we pay a lot of interest and we do all those sort of things, but for us, it's worth it. For all the things we've been able to go and do and see and all that, we aren't sitting around going, hey, remember all those times five years ago that we you know, didn't go because we were saving money? One thing that always just kind of sinks into me is what my grandpa used to tell me is go do things while you can. Uh, he always wanted to make it to Niagara and several other places and he just didn't make it. They did a lot of stuff when they were younger and he says he doesn't regret any of it. And I, I kind of feel the same. I don't think we're going to regret getting out and doing these things. And if we had, you know, just taken five, six years to save enough to buy our trailer, we would have missed out on a lot of opportunities. We kept a tire cover from the old RV cover and hopefully that will help protect the new cover from this satellite dish, which it is just heck on RV covers. It's always kind of precarious getting down off the roof. Handful of tools. only three more trips up and down today. Now the fun of having Kara hand me up the cover. How you doing down there? Good. Okay. You ready for this? Sure. All right, let's get to it.
if somebody knows an easier way to do this, I'm all ears. Maybe we're the odd ones. If anybody ever asks, should we buy an RV? I always respond with, heck yeah, you should. We are so glad that we got our trailer. We perhaps probably spent a little too much for our first one, but we have grown into it. We're comfortable with the size. Would we love to have a beautiful brand new trailer? Absolutely, we would. Uh, but we have been so happy with our used one. It was gently used. <laughs> So, if you're looking to buy a used RV, now might be the perfect time because there's a lot of people that don't want to do what we're doing right now and they don't want to store it for the winter, so you could snag it for a pretty good price. Right now would be a great time for you to snag a new trailer. RV dealership lots are starting to get really they are getting their back stock that they have ordered from the spring or the summer. So trailers are starting to come in and usually it's the reverse. They like to see less trailers in the winter and more coming in spring and summer. So right now would be a great time for you to go RV shopping. Granted in some areas of the U.S. like Utah, uh, winter is one of those times where it is just too cold to get out and go camping. But uh, if you're willing to, you know, hold on to it for the winter, you would have a trailer and you would beat that spring crowd that's trying to get out and get those great deals. It might take a little bit extra searching and you might have to travel a little bit, just like we did for ours, but you could find that one you've been looking for that maybe just didn't get picked up this year. This new cover fits so much better than the old one. Comment down below if you use an RV cover. Some people swear by them. Some people dislike them. I, I've used one every year we've had this, but Kara's dad, he says he's never putting another one on. I don't know. Let us know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Comment down below when you think it is the best time to buy an RV, even though Heck, maybe, they're, maybe there's never a perfect time, but let us know down below. As always, thanks for watching. We appreciate everything, and enjoy your weekend.